Astronaut Scott Kelly salutes as he's lowered into the pool at the Neutral Buoyancy Lab in Houston. He'll be underwater for six hours, practicing the work that he'll eventually be doing in space, during spacewalks outside the International Space Station. But did you ever wonder how an astronaut gets into that huge spacesuit? This is no easy task at Earth Gravity, where spacesuits weigh in at more than 350 pounds, counting the astronauts' own weight. At 8.28 a.m. on a recent Tuesday, CNN's Daniel Churdeman brought road trip there as astronauts Scott Kelly, who's the identical twin brother of astronaut Mark Kelly, and Terry Virts are being suited up at the Neutral Buoyancy Lab, a NASA facility that's about 20 minutes away from the Johnson Space Center. Getting an astronaut ready for work is no easy deal. They get help from several MBL technicians, and they use a frame that holds the suits up until they're in the water. Just getting the astronauts fitted for their space suit is a big deal. According to NASA suit and tools engineer Robert Knight, astronauts get 36 measurements of their bodies and 46 measurements just of their hands to make sure they get a perfect fit for the suit and the gloves. That's extremely important, said Knight. They're not doing a space walk. They're doing a space translation. Everything is done by hand. Inside the suits is plenty of padding, and the key is to wedge them comfortably inside in such a way that they don't fall down inside the suit, said Knight. Since the mid-1960s, NASA has trained its astronauts in Houston to conduct extravehicular activities, EVAs, otherwise known as spacewalks, in underwater conditions. The agency has long considered that working below the surface in neutrally buoyant conditions is an ideal way to train for the zero-g environment of space.